Right. What do we want? Uh, just talk about an update on Doug Brown, first of all. Uh, from what I understand, he's progressing well, and uh, we don't have any type of uh, timetable on him right now, but it um, uh, looks like uh, uh, things are coming along. Is he home yet? No, he's still in Edmonton. So that until he stops with the headaches or whatever, he's not going to get on a plane? Or how yeah, we, you know, right now he's comfortable and he's, he's making progress, and so there's no hurry to put him on a plane and get him back over here right now. Is he trying to compile like Holiday Inn points or something? Or? Um, <laughs> he really likes the green jello and the meatloaf uh, this afternoon just made him so happy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Joel Lobendon, what's his story? Um, has a bruised shoulder and um, no, we'll just take that day to day right now. Do you have to have be on the look for someone else to bring in just for depth, just in case there, or how are you? Well, going you know, we, we never stop you know, looking for depth, and, uh, um, but, uh, you know, we're, we're talking through several different scenarios right now, and, and uh, none of them have been played out at this point. How about Tyrone Williams, James Johnson, those kind of guys that were on the one game injury today? Uh, and from I had a report with um, with Al uh, just a little while ago, and uh, everything seems to be moving along well with those guys. And um, you know we'll get out on the field tomorrow and move around a little bit and see how everybody's uh, working the kinks out. If those guys are healthy, are they automatically back in? Uh, not automatically. We need to, to you know see what our roster is going to be like, uh, what uh, type of ratio we're going to use, um, what fits best for our you know for the competitor and uh, uh, just take it from there. What did you think of uh, Dorian Smith and Donnie O? You know what, those two kids played very well inside. Um, they were very active. Um, you know, I, I think they learned a little bit more about the game and the level of which it needs to be played. Um, uh, you know, it's uh, all in all, I'm pleased with the, with the effort that they gave. Do you want to fill out your practice roster? it up to seven, or is that not so um, crucial right now? Well, there, you know, we're, we're always looking to, to make sure that we can save guys' legs. You know, that's important for us. Um, but I don't want to bring in guys just to bring in guys. I don't want just bodies here. I want people that down the road can help us. And uh, uh, so we're looking at, uh, you know, again, some different scenarios. And, uh, um, you know, we're not, like I said, we're not just going to bring in anybody. I have to ask you about the punt return game, which looked a little shaky the yeah, other night. It did, didn't yeah. It? yeah, sorry to bring it up. Yeah, just wondering what's going on there. My Fourth of July with your questions. <laughs> sorry. Um, <laughs> uh, no, um, you know it. Uh, uh, one, it was you know a difficult night. You know, um, uh, and again, you're you're you know we did we catch the balls consistently as I wanted to? No, no we didn't. Uh, uh, and I think everyone is aware of that. And I'm, you know, I'm, I'm speaking in terms of, you know, no kidding, Mr. Obvious. But, uh, um, you know, also you, you have one of the better ones in the league on the other side going against us. And so it, it looks dramatically different. Um, but, uh, you know, we'll keep working at it. And, uh, and uh, you know, I, I have confidence in the guys that we have to do a better job. It just, uh, we just have to keep working at things. So you think you'll have the same guys doing the jobs, or um, again, we'll you know we'll see how things play out this week, and, and uh, you know hopefully we'll progress and we can take it from there. Is in your mind is the Derek Armstrong thing put to bed? Yes. You said you said the other night uh, or yesterday, I guess it was. You said you have to do a better job of coaching. I think. Mm -hmm. What did you mean by? Anytime we lose, it's my fault. You talk like your it's, play selection, stuff like that? Or? I'm talking about my preparation of the players during the week. Um, it's, a, it's everything. Um, if our players don't perform up to a level where they can succeed, then it's my fault. That's on me. Uh, I'm the one that is ultimately responsible for how we play out there. And uh, so I have to do a better job uh, each and every week of putting our players in a position to improve, to be successful, and uh, to get better. And um, last week I failed at that. So we go back to work this week and we try to evaluate and reevaluate what we did a week ago and uh, make our team better. I'm not worried about opponents as much as I am getting our team better. Okay. Any more That's questions?
Thanks, guys. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah.